I suppose I've never thought it was going to be a cure. And although last time I certainly, I didn't expect to come back, um, when I was sort of embarking upon it, I was like, oh yeah, this is sort of a last ditch effort. Like, we'll just do this and then I know I've tried kind of thing. But I didn't realise that people kind of came back. I didn't know that that was, it could be an ongoing therapy type thing. And after talking to other patients and um, some of the staff and all that, I realised that, you know, if it sort of has worked for you one time, it'll probably work for you again. Um, so I thought it was worth another go. <laughs> I'm Claire Marsh and I'm in Qingdao having stem cell therapy. Well, the first time I came out, I had eight uh, stem cell injections. So uh, one IV and seven lumbar punctures. And I had all the physiotherapy twice a day and the acupuncture and the electric wave therapy. I think it's been about eight months. And uh, in that time, I've moved out of my family home and I live in, um, you know, my own house uh, with a friend, which has been really good. And I've been continuing physiotherapy at home um, twice a week or three times a week with a physiotherapist. It's been really good, actually. Um, yeah, I have sort of been able to prove to myself because I was living out of home before I had my accident and um, I've been able to prove to myself that I can be independent again and do all that. I mean, I obviously have some help, like I have a cleaner and stuff because I can't mop floors. But um, apart from that, you know, it's, it's been really, really good and it's sort of yeah, given me a lot more confidence. Big changes were a regain in sweat function below my waist and a decrease in my spasticity. So I was able to come off my medication for that. An increase in my immune system. So I was able to come off some medication I was on for that. Some movement in my left ankle, which is um, small and not functional, but it's still there from last time. So yeah, I think that's about it. When I didn't have the sweat function from my injury, um, I would get heat stroke all the time, um, like when it was above sort of 25 degrees Celsius. Um, I would, especially when I was walking as well, I was, you know, using energy and I'd get um, really hot and I wasn't able to cool down. And um, so I was always having to miss classes and things like that because I just couldn't deal with the heat because um, we live in Australia. <laughs> And, um, yeah, since I got it back, I mean, sure, I've had sweaty socks and stuff now, but um, <laughs> um, it's really helped me um, cope with the heat a lot better. I mean, I still have a bit of trouble with it just because um, I use a lot of energy to get around, but it's nowhere, like, I don't get the whole heat stroke. I don't get, like, nauseous and, um, and like, passing out and stuff. <laughs> so it, that's improved a lot. Last time I was hoping for anything really, but um, the main sort of problems that I have are related to my bowel and bladder function. So I didn't really get much improvement last time in the way of bowel or bladder function, um, but I did get improvements. So I thought that I would come back and give it another go and see if I saw any improvements this time. I have to, you know, have a long sort of bowel routine in the morning so I have to allow for that um I could go to uni and stuff I always have to make sure there's a disabled toilet wherever I am or wherever I'm going and all that sort of thing and that can be um really difficult <laughs> again I suppose I was like well I'm I'm coming all the way here so I might as well have sort of as many injections as possible I suppose this time I was a bit more like six weeks is a long time. I didn't really want to spend, I mean, I like China and stuff, but I didn't really want to spend the whole six weeks again. But then um, I thought it was worth having the eight injections again. And then my schedule ended up that I had a few days at the end. So I decided to have another IV at the end just because I had time. So I had Andy last time. Um, this time I've had Jason. Um, and he's been really good. So, yeah, I had a different physiotherapist, but I think sometimes it's good to mix it up a bit, really. It's pretty 
intense the routine well I, I mean I find it that way at home I have sort of part-time uni and a bit of physio and it's definitely not this day-to-day like every day you get up and you do physio and that's quite um hard work and then you have the acupuncture and it's all this stuff being done to you all the time um I was you know mentally prepared for it I suppose but yeah <laughs> it can be difficult Not a huge amount, but, I mean, my um, spasticity in my legs, again, has improved significantly this time. So, I mean, it's hard to say whether that's the stem cells or the physiotherapy, but, um, I mean, we think it's the stem cells. So, yeah, but that's probably the only thing this time that we've seen um, sort of drastically, if you know what I mean. Because my injury um, affected the the end of my spinal cord so um, I have a lot of uh, tightness in my muscles around my um, my ankles which makes it quite difficult with walking and um, you know if I'm standing somewhere and then my calf muscles decide to contract it sort of will tip me forwards or backwards even if I'm wearing the splints so it makes my balance quite difficult and um, and all that sort of thing so I mean and also stops you from sleeping. Like if you've, it's like having the hiccups in your legs kind of thing. It's difficult um, in that way. So, I mean, that is a great improvement if that's, even if that's all I come away with, really. I wish, I wish that I'd known about this um, treatment earlier. I mean, it really was a real sort of time of depression, you know, depression if you know what I mean um I just thought this can't be it you know because I've been told by everyone at home that that was it and um I'd never really seriously looked into the stem cell thing I didn't really know that it was available and now that I know that the earlier you know I'm four years on from my injury now um and now that I know that the earlier you get it with with a lot of things but especially with um, injuries like spinal cord injury the more chance you have of recovery, um, I really do wish that I'd done it earlier. So, yeah.